Hello folks, this has gone spy. The spy will finally come to you live for Star Wars Knights for All Public, the Civil Wars, the Act 3. Now, I apologize for the long wait folks, I was going to try something new uh, for the past couple of months, but as I have already tested, it seems that it wasn't going to be able to work out, but um, sorry, um... But, um, I do have another bring in news to you guys. Um, after the ending of the Act 2, I was able to do a reboot of the game. So, the only thing that remains the same were the choices uh, that you've seen uh, that, that I was able to make with the Exile, with the Jedi Masters, and... And uh, Handmaid, Bador, Mira, and and being Jedi's that remains the same. And the only thing that, that's different is this new outfit, a Jedi Master robe. It used to be a Jedi Knight robe, but I'll take. I was willing to get a Jedi Master robe. So right now, um, we're going to do a little bit of R&R after we've saved Onderon from the impending doom from the Sif and Valkus forces. Since we were able to fight on them on two fronts. So right now, Master Kafar had left, but left me with a new technique as you can see the Frosty style knows Duo. It's good against a single opponent, but not very good against uh, force powers. And, and to refresh your memories, guys, is that Master Vash was already killed before, I mean, uh, with Kavar again because of Darth Sion at Karban. Now, and then another thing that you've noticed that that's different is the levels of this character. Yes, the levels of this character is different, but it's but techniques remains the same. Um, well, I wouldn't say techniques remains the same, but it's been improved vastly uh, since the reboot. So I hope you guys will still watch uh, the Act Three. Uh, the only thing that was able to change around here. Gosh, I really love this new Jedi Master Robe outfit is vastly improved since since the other uh, settings of the old Jedi Master Robe from the last uh, KOTOR game. So right now we're going to be doing some R&R, visiting some places, and to do some stuff. I got some questions for you, Goto. You I will, I wanted the reward from stabilizing Onron. You have done well, and the stability you have caused shall be rewarded. I have arranged a transfer of funds from certain interests within the Republic to you. What else that needs to be stabilized? Something about Dad to win. Yes, because uh, in the Act 2, I was able to solve a mercenary problem that was led by an ex veteran Sith soldier. I don't remember his name, but he was a real mean bastard. And was able to establish a connection and gain a good reputation of good Jedi name and learn the truth of the starting point of what Frog has said about the Jedi, the Force, the Force bond between me and Kraya, and about Qatar. So, what's the registration efforts on Telos?
got some other questions. Why did you use the hologram, the hologram, the hologram that's supposed to be you as a person to deal in your criminal dealings? And hence the fact that you were able to establish means on every single occasion. The meeting with the bounty hunters and the meetings with the exchange. I have other questions. How is it possible to save the Republic? Now, tell me about the situation on Onderon. Good. And because of what we have done on our own recently, very recently, uh, dealing with Sif at the, the pyramid uh, in camp, uh, that is the tomb of Freedom Ned, one of the ancient Sif lords. And the fact that the Sif had an alliance with, um, with Valkub. So now we are now left with only one goal remain. It is to go up to Dattooine to meet with the other Jedi Masters at the old Jedi Enclave. But right now, like I said, we're going to be doing some R&R. &R. Okay. I was wondering if you could give me some stimulates. How's the Ebon Hog since we've been gone? Good. I got some other questions for you. Can you upgrade an item for me? Do some upgrades. Yeah, this is one of the uh, crystal items uh, that uh, Handmaid, Visus, and Bador was able to get from the Sith Pyramid Enclave. So, mm, this will do.
can't exactly change the crystal of Freedom Ned's lightsaber, but I'm uh, pretty much sure uh, that uh, that it can be still be useful, at least until I get another lightsaber for Mira. There are some my companions that need a uh, uh, good old. Can I get some grenades from you? Very well. I was hoping you could talk. Some questions I want to ask. Why don't you kill your targets? But you don't seem to hold back when you're with me. Are you okay? I well, hopefully we'll be able to figure that out. But for now. Just uh, try to stay calm about uh, what you didn't do, what you've always been doing. I brought up another thing I've been wanting to know about. And I will need to see Thesis. The destruction of Qatar has been, always been, uh, troubling my mind. It's been in my head for a long time, a sense of... Since I've learned about it, the uh, Visa's home plan's destruction. I think it's high time for some answers. Alright, Visa's. Alphafit, who sent you? I need to know where I can find your master. You cannot. His vessel roams the borders of known space, and even I do not know where he travels. Until he calls for me, even if I could lead you to my master, I cannot permit you to find him. Until you are ready. Ready to do what? I'm ready to confront him now. You will be my master. It is inevitable. I have seen. And when you stand before him and realize what you face, you must be prepared. Until then, I must protect you, help you, until you are ready. Why exactly are you doing this for me, Ephesus? If your master has a hard time detecting me, how were you able to do it uh, what your master could not? The Marocos. Where are your people? Your royal guitar now? How did your master destroy your homeworld to kill such on a scale of level of power? It's such impossible to even hear about. My master spoke to me of its destruction on multiple occasions.
any machine can hope to slay. For everyone that feels the Force, strongly, deeply, each one feels and perceives it in their own way. You have strengths, whether you know it or not. And my master has his. His power is great. And it comes from hunger. He is a wound in the Force. More presence than flesh. And in his wake, Sacrificing itself to his hunger. And those who feel the force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My God. Planet, my planet would have been attacked in time. It was inevitable. Yet we could do nothing about it. Why did your master destroy Qatar? The masters that I spoke about told me that the Jedi were gathered on that planet to send out a beacon to uh, search for the threat. Why did the Jedi met on Katarm? They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them, and they did. But they were unprepared for the magnitude of the threat. He attacked it because the Jedi uh, had revealed themselves there. He cannot deny his hunger for law. And any gathering of Jedi is something he cannot long resist. And now that the Jedi are vanishing, I do not know what will happen. Perhaps he will grow strong enough to eradicate all I got some other questions. I will answer what I can. Tell me about your home world. It is not a subject which I have spoken of. How was it destroyed? The planet was not destroyed. It remains. It orbits. Dead in space. But nothing lives on its surface. It echoes. But there's no one left to hear it. If your home world was destroyed, how did you survive? I am not certain I did. I was there when the planet died to see what? everything around you extinguished. It was as if I was blinded. It was as if the force had been bled from the world. Then as if suddenly it went silent? You were the only survivor. I still wonder what would have happened if I had died with the others. If perhaps there would have been some way to hide my presence from the galaxy. If only I had not felt that pain, that loss, as strongly as I did. But it could not be done. When the life was bled from the planet, and yet somehow I remained. Walked upon the surface of my dead world, and there, lying in the bodies of my race, he took me for his own, and he made me see. And for the first time, I saw the galaxy, and I wished to die. He made you see the galaxy? What do you mean? To this galaxy, my world, absent the currents and spectrums of the Force, was nothing but crude matter, rock. Unable to see the 
Why did your master show you all that? He should never have shown you such horrors. He showed me to make me believe in his cause. Be his cause? Understand. It would have taken several Republic cruisers to destroy surface of Qatar. It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. For everyone that feels the force, strongly, deeply. Each one feels and perceives it in their own way. His power is great, and those who feel the force strongly are beacons to his hunger. I have some other questions. I'm so sorry uh, that this happened to you. I'd have heard your species is blind, the Burugukas. How were you able to see? My people once had the power to perceive events, to see through the Force. That sight may manifest itself in many ways. And at times, I may affect the abilities of others to see as well. You sound as if sight is lost to you? Be able to see the force uh, through uh, of light or dark or neutral in uh, first sight person mode. When one endures, it gives people hope, and themselves. Only when one suffers, do certain truths become evident, both of the galaxy and of the self. And I feel you are an example of this. How do you see through the Force? I've gained the force powers and foresight allows me to perceive the ailment of others and see through the obstacles and threats beyond. Thank you, Thesis. I have some other questions. I have to go now. Remarkable. I've seen Thesis does this before, but it's incredible. Mm -hmm. Can't exactly see through uh, the droids, but that is to be expected. They're machines. This ability is fascinating. It's as if my uh, sense of sight has been straightened, but only for a temporary moment. Do you see sight beyond sight?
in yet. Everything what the feast says is true. What my master spoke about, what Kraya most of all spoke about is true. Qatar is gone, and the things that Visas endured, I can't even imagine. I have much uh, questions that needs to be answered. I better check on... I better check on Bador and Hamming. They were with Visas in that pyramid. Yes, General. Bador, did something happen to you on Duxon? You seem a little calmer than normal. I feel a sense of peace. It was difficult, but I guess I've come to understand something about myself. What do you mean, Bador? Talk to me. I understand. It's good, actually. Yes. Can I ask you some questions, Handmaid? Did something happen to you on Duxon? When we last saw each other, you weren't exactly calmer, like now. I feel more at peace, yes. The battle there was difficult, but I think I understand such a trial was necessary. And I learned something of myself there, something I did not know before. What? Perhaps I shall speak of it another time, but not now. Okay, I understand. Going through that, a dark cloud storms uh, must have uh, allowed themselves uh, to feel at peace about something. Almost like similarity is what I've done. Something up. Got some questions for you, buddy. Never mind. I need to speak to Kraya now. The time has come uh, to get that trial of what she spoke about. Now that I have spoke to each master and con and encountered them on each different worlds, I think I am ready for the next lesson. Okay. Every, all the others, uh, barely Manalor, had been influenced about my decisions of the light side, and yet, Kraya always seems to be on the neutral side, neither dark nor light. I cannot help but wonder if there's something uh, that she has not uh, told me about. But in any case, there are places uh, that I need to go before we go to Dantooine. We need to head to Telos. 
There is something there I need to um, talk about. This is the second time that we've uh, visited Telos. It's almost like a lifetime, even though it's been only about a year. I remember being first arrived here. We were on house arrest for the destruction of Paragus. And then afterwards came everything else, events and into motion. We were led. We were led uh, to uh, Atris's academy when she sent handmade steel our ship and joined. Atrus downloaded the archives in T3's data, data banks for a reason, and I do not know what those reasons are. It's time to level up. <laughs> nice abilities. As you can see, it's not just uh, me that has changed since the reboot that I was able to do, but also my other companions' levels. Nothing in these new skills. Says Kayo once uh, said to me uh, that there is something, there's another reason what has happened to me uh, about me losing my connection to the Force and more, but they wouldn't, he would not speak of it until other Jedi Masters had reunited on Dantooine because they made a promise to each other. promise that's going to be broken once we arrive there. Striking through the force. The Sith has never have done something like this before, and yet it is so. I do not understand or comprehend on the scale of this new development that the Sith is displaying. 
and I cannot help but wonder if there's something else and going on here. We're missing something, something and that we haven't considered before. Something that's been right under the noses, someone else's and play. There is someone, a third enemy that we have not encountered. When we reunited with the ship and got out of Atreus Jedi Academy, Kraya has spoke about the name, has spoke about of the factions of the Sith, not just the Sith Assassins, as you guys will have seen in the past episodes. The Siths have legions. Legions uh, that has three leaders. One is the beast uh, known as Dorf Sion, and the other is the Ravenger or Hunger, which I'm pretty damn well sure it's uh, Feastus's master because of what he has done to her world and what he has shown her and what he has done to her. And the third party is called the Betrayer and is the She. Kraya said that if we're to be able to have any chance of surviving against this threat, she cannot automatically be revealed to herself this very present. I trusted Kraya's counsel, but I cannot help but we should have looked into this. But we'll learn more about the reasons why. There's just something I'll write about this uh, third party uh, that the betrayer that Kreia's not telling us about. This betrayer. How is it that she's not exactly uh, been seen before other than Darth Sion or Vizis' master? And yet, for some reason, this betrayer refuses to reveal herself. There's just something not right about this female. Something that we need to get to the bottom of. We'll figure that out later. That's it. You're not going to try to put me under arrest after what? No hellos. No. Hey, uh, Arthur, welcome back. Uh, oh, no. If you now you have showed up, I'm going to, have to put your ass on the rest. Well, are you? Why on earth would the Republic change their minds like that? Why does the Republic do anything? The head doesn't know what the feet are doing. The hands don't even know they've got fingers. Let alone where they are. My opinion, they probably performed their independent investigation and figured it wasn't your fault. Anyways, you should just be glad I decided to overlook the fact you escaped arrest. Um, well, thanks for that. Which is nothing much. What is it? 
I killed the escape criminals. I see. And where and when did you kill them? After I overheard the deal they made with Lorso in the circle office, I confronted them at at the, the registration zones, uh, and when they tried to run, I chased them down and killed them. It was no problem. So you returned. What is it? Oh, and you should know about that uh, progress fuel supply. It's already going to be taken care of. I've been to Narshada and struck a deal with the HUD uh, Foga. You should, Tila should be receiving supplies from that slug uh, anytime soon. Hopefully, before. Hopefully, after my main with the Jedi Masters at the Jedi Enclave will be done. Alright, that is pretty much about all we can do on Telos. Just wanted to be able to get that clarified. Now, next stop is Narshadam. I want to deliver a promising good message to a certain Rodian female merchant that a trading deal has been settled on Onderon. It just doesn't make any sense, the fact that 